Okay, we're doing the accounting cycle and we've done the journal entries and identified the cash inflows and outflows as whether they were financing, investing, or operating activities by the types of accounts involved. What we're going to do now is to post each and every one of these entries, 1 through 8, into their T accounts. So the first one was a debit to cash of 12,000. So I'm going to write one, oops, let me get the pen. One, 12,000 is a debit to cash and the credit was to common stock of $12,000. So by putting a little one by each of them, I know that that debit is associated with that credit, right? I also want to put an F by the number one to remember that that's a financing activity. Number two was a debit to cash for 5000 and a credit to long-term note payable for 5000 And since long-term note payable, that's a financing activity as well. And so let's see if that's right. Yep. Number three is a debit to land for 10 and a credit to cash for 10. So number three, credit to cash for 10,000, debit to land for 10,000. So I can see that those debits go with those credits. Since land is a non-current asset, it's an investing activity. Number four is a uh, debit to rent expense, credit to cash, $5,000. So I'm going to debit rent expense for $5,000 and credit cash, $5,000 for number four. Since rent expense is an operating activity, we'll put an O by it so we know that. Number five is we provided the lawn services, so we have a debit to cash of 10000 debit to accounts receivable 4000 and a credit to lawn service revenue for 14 So let's see if I can do this. 5, 10000 5, 4000 to accounts receivable, and lawn service revenue, credit 14 so the debits equal the credits, and it took two debits to equal the credit. And since lawn service revenue is a revenue account, this is an operating activity from a cash standpoint. So notice posting is basically doing the same exact thing we have in our journal entries. It's just we're grouping all the uh, cash debits and credits together, and so on. Number six, paid cash for miscellaneous expenses. So we debited miscellaneous expense 4000 credited cash 4000 So number six, miscellaneous expense, cash. six. Also, since this is miscellaneous uh, expenses, it's an operating. Number seven, sold one parcel of land, so I'm going to debit cash, 2800 debit loss for 200 and credit land for 3000 So number seven, 2800 cash, we have a loss of 200 7 and land is being credited for 3000 And since land is a non-current asset, this is an investing activity. Number eight, paid a $2,200 cash dividend, so debit dividends, credit cash, 2200 So dividends, 2200 number eight, Credit cash, 2200 Since dividends is a shareholder's equity account, it's a financing activity. So once we have posted everything, the next thing we do is we find the balances 
in each of, account, each of these accounts. So if I add up my debits to cash and subtract out my credits to cash, I find that cash has a balance of 8600 And that's the balance I will use when I do the cash flow statement. Accounts receivable only had one uh, transaction, so it has a balance of 4000 Land had a debit of 10000 a credit of 3000 so it nets to a debit balance of 7000 Notes payable has only one, which is a credit of five. So like all li good liabilities, it has a credit balance. Common stock has a credit balance of 12000 Dividends has a debit balance of 22 Lawn service revenue has a credit balance of fourteen. Rent expense five thousand. Miscellaneous expense four thousand debit, and loss two hundred debit. So notice I've uh, copied debits as debits, credits as credits, and uh, taken the difference between the debit and the credit um, pieces of the transaction to find the account balances. And this is called posting to the ledger or to the T accounts and finding the balances. The next thing we'll do is to take this information and put it into beautiful financial statements.